Or you could take a look at historical data by going through periodic actions here and get all the posted transactions from past periods, from general ledger, or from a fixed asset, which is a different subject matter I'm going to discuss later. Or let's say from project forecast or inventory forecast, demand or supply, or generated from another plan that already exists. And then you could grab data from multiple locations and include it in the same plan as well. I just like to show you one of them. I click on generate plan from general ledger and this form will appear. To begin with, you can create a brand new plan or you could replace an existing plan that already exists or update an existing plan and change it with a new value that has been modified and append new data as well. Remember, everything goes back to the restrictions of the budget planning process, which probably says you cannot reset it. Well, you won't be able to use that or you won't be able to replace it. You won't be able to delete it. You can only create a new one. I'm gonna create a brand new budget plan based on what? Period or year or day. I just do it for one year. And the fiscal year happens to be the year that I would like to grab the data from. This is important. You have to choose the fiscal year that you have posted transactions. I'm going to pick and choose from the beginning period through the last period. And here I can pick and choose the account type, such as only look at the expenses or liabilities. If I want to buy some more assets, take a look at the asset too, or just you can select them all if you like to. You could also filter and specify a range of values from those types of an account or based on a category that we discussed way early in our previous sessions. Should I also include the closing transactions in case you have done the period close or year end close? Should I include those as well? Is that historical data or not? And then the budget plan name. Let's call it SRHQ plan one. As you see, the planning process needs to be specified, is already activated, so I pick and choose it. Automatically picks and chooses the department that is linked to my user ID, which happens to be Julia Funderburg. And the scenario department has been approved, so I pick and choose that one. Now here, you can have a factor which multiplies or divides whatever you have found and then offers it. You can have a minimum value to be included. You don't bother to bring any other values are not necessarily appropriate for this budgeting. And then of course, you could have a rounding rule. I'm going to collapse source and target. And then on the run in background, you could actually again schedule it and perhaps receive an alert. I'm going to generate this. Now let's see what happens. 